Hello everyone and welcome. Did it, um, before I get started with uh, the today's review, I'm sure you noticed a couple of things. First off, uh, the whiteboard. You know, for where uh, for, you know, like writing whatever stuff that I might have forgotten to mention, or uh, you know, uh, making snarky comments about whatever. And the uh, second thing is, I have background music. Yes, the person who made the music was this guy named uh, Greg Hoffman, and um, he has this uh, YouTube channel, Fim uh, Flam Philosophy, and um, he has a bunch of different stuff, uh, Let's Plays, uh, you know, uh, different uh, pony abridged videos, like the Mentally Advanced series, Rainbow Dash Presents, stuff like that, and he has uh, Mon his, uh, Monday Music, <laughs> and... Um, um, thing with like that is like um, and he has this thing where he's like, yeah, if you want to use it for your own projects, then go right ahead. Like, really, the only like string attached that you're not allowed to like, you know, try and use his, try and like uh, play off like his music is like your work, you know, or uh, you know, like add like a you know, like a little thing to it and then say like, and then again try and make it off as like your own, you know. But, you know, aside from that, that's pretty much it, you know, like, I don't think you can go ahead and monetize your videos, I don't even think you need to credit him, if I recall, but, um, yeah, but I'd recommend doing it anyway, so, um, yeah, anyway, I'm on with the, uh, review, today I'm going to be talking about, because of, uh, Valentine's Day, I figured I might as well talk about something that's sort of topical. The uh, Castle of Dreams, stories from the Caracano Ka Ka creator. Caracano creator, whatever, anyway. As um, Sami Tsuda. <coughs> and, um, I'll, get, I'll get around to Caracano Car some other time, but it's a very long running romance type shoujo type thing, and, um, for those who don't know what shoujo is, um, it's kind of how, like, most, uh, manga and Japanese anime are kind of made, like, two sections, like, shoujo, shonen. Shoujo is for, is for girls, shonen boys, so, like, stuff like, uh, Dragon Ball Z, or the, uh, Naruto, Bleach, that would be shonen, and stuff like, uh, you know, uh, Fruits Basket, or, uh, uh, I guess, um, um, or this, or, or Karakano, or this, who are classified as, show, as shoujo, or for girls. And, like, not all the, there are still quite a few shoujo classified stuff that are, uh, that are pretty cool, like, um, there's, like, Visions of Escaflone was classified as shoujo, I think, but, um, yeah, anyway, um, the story is, like, um, not really a single story, it's basically just a, just a short story compilation of a bunch of different, like, shoujo stories, sometimes romance, sometimes involving romance, sometimes involving just, um, people trying to become friends again. There are seven stories in total. Three of them are in part called the, are called, are parts of the Sorcerer series, which, uh, which kind of tangentially involves a particular sorcerer who does stuff. And the other, uh, uh, the other four aren't really connected by anything. They're just uh, all shoujo stories. I think I'll just talk about like uh, the couple that I would uh, to, to that I would call my uh, favorites. You know, um, first one I'm going to talk about is um, this is called a, this is a, the first one that's after the last sorcerer story story or sorcerer series story is uh, called. Um, 
room where an angel lives. <clears throat> you know, there's this kid named Louie who lives in a, he's a early, who lives in a, like, 19th century England. And, um, you know, he's, like, busy living his life, being all depressed. Then one day he finds this, uh, little girl who's, like, uh, just sort of lying in the streets. And he takes her home, takes care of her. And then finds out that she's the daughter of this, like, rich, really rich guy. Like, at first, like, he tries to, like, take her, care of her on her own, on his own. Sort of like, uh... Uh, what's his face from Grave of the Fireflies, but unlike, uh, you know, um, that kid, uh, from Grave of the Fireflies, he finds out, like, he realizes, like, I can't take care of this girl, like, like, uh, I can't give her the proper care for she, for the, what, what she needs, like, she's, like, all sick and stuff. And, uh, you know, he and takes over, over to her dad, and because she's like a um, really sad that she, he couldn't like be able to take care of her like she uh, he runs off becomes like this businessman but eventually they do reunite and fall in love and uh, yeah the other one that I would uh, classify as like definitely yeah I'd say it's my favorite it was like a it's one called an awkward relationship yeah no just awkward relationship and um it's like about this boy and girl in high school. I forgot their names. Um, the Japanese names. The something is Suzaki or, or um, anyway. Um, they're boy and girl. They're um, you know like they grew up like together and they. Um, But of course, but over the years they like slowly grow apart, and then they're not friends anymore. And like they have this like big misunderstanding, and I kind of I kind of think how it's uh, kind of kind of funny is um, like they um, there's this thing where it's like he's kind of, he thinks like he's changed so much that um, he's. Uh, he finds herself like accidentally making everything super awkward between the two and as a result the guy thinks that she hates her or some hates him or something and but eventually like they do figure everything out and, and they become friends again and uh, yeah and like um, even though like uh, most romancy stuff really isn't necessarily my bag uh, this one has like quite a few stories, um, some which I would say are better than others, you know, um, you know, it's just a nice read if you're into that kind of thing, and even if you're not necessarily into it, but if you're, um, like into like, but if you just feel like being curious about it, this kind of stuff, then, um, I'd recommend checking it out, I'd say I give this my personal uh, rating of 4 out of 5, comfortable recommendation, go check it out if you feel like it, yeah, anyway, um, next time we're going to be talking about something a little more fun and cool with the Ghostbusters, until then, see you later and have a nice day, and be cool and like support your local libraries by you know, um, volunteering, donating, and, uh, st so forth. Yeah, and, and, uh, and, uh, have a nice day.